everyone welcome back to my channel so today's video is a very very exciting video because it is my what I got for my birthday video and this year I turned 30 years old so since it is kind of like a milestone birthday I probably went a little bit crazier than I usually would on birthday gifts to myself so everything that I have to share with you guys they're all pieces of fine jewelry and it's a mix of items from Van Cleef and Arpel, Chanel as well as Bulgari and I've been accumulating these presents for I want to say like the past two or maybe three months at this point and I'm so excited to share them with you guys finally and yeah let's get into this video Okay, so the first item that I got for my birthday is actually something that I already unboxed for you guys a while back. I believe it was in late March or early April, but basically they were increasing the price on this item and I knew I was going to get it soon anyway, so I just went ahead and bought it. And it is this bracelet from Bulgari. This is the Serpenti Viper bracelet. It's in rose gold and it's the Demi Pave one. So you have the diamonds on the head as well as the tail of the serpent. So I've been wearing it like this with the head of the serpent um, higher up on my arm. And I will be doing like an entire dedicated review video for this bracelet, but just to talk about it a little bit in this video since I have already been wearing this, um, this is something that I usually just wear on its own. It makes like a pretty big statement on its own. So I don't like to really layer it partially because I don't think I have any other bracelets that kind of like enhances the look of this bracelet. I can stack it with other bracelets, but I think it definitely does look the best on its own. So yeah, that's how I've been wearing it and I've been really loving this bracelet. And a lot of people have asked me why I chose this one with the Demi Pave instead of getting the one that was entirely made out of metal. And the thing is, well, firstly, I did not actually know that one existed until after I got this one. And also, I think I would have just chosen this one anyways, even if I had known that one existed. Like, yes, this does cost significantly more, but I do think that the added price is worth it for these diamonds. And they're pretty substantial diamonds. So yeah, I do really like the added sparkle that the diamonds give to this bracelet. I just think, you know, it's like a nice little contrast. And the thing is, um, I do own the Cartier Juiced and Clue bracelet in the small version, but without the diamonds. And I was gifted that prior to them releasing the one with the diamonds. So it's not something that I would ever swap out for the one with the diamonds. But if I were to make that decision today, I would have gone for the one with the diamonds instead of without it. So since this is kind of like a similar type of bracelet to the Cartier Juiced and Clue bracelet, you know, it twists onto your arm, the bracelet kind of overlaps a little bit. It was definitely a no-brainer for me, definitely the one with the diamonds. And I will talk about it more in depth in the review video, but long story short, I do really love and recommend this. So I think what I'm going to do is show you guys everything in the order that I purchased them, starting with these two, which were actually purchased at the same time, I believe back in April. And these two items are fairly new releases from Van Cleef and Arpels. I basically bought them practically as soon as they were released because I just thought they were so gorgeous. So let's start with this box right here. And I actually did a vlog back in April about this collection. So Van Cleef and Arpels came out with this um, new collection, well, new launch in their Fravol collection. It was either um, the mini Fravols in rubies or emeralds. So I think many of you guys thought I would get the emerald ones, but I actually went for the rubies instead. And part of the reason was because it was in rose gold, which I just, I prefer rose gold over yellow gold. And I also have um, a set of earrings and necklace that have emeralds on them already. So I didn't want something that was too repetitive. So I went for the rose gold with rubies and I got two things from that collection. So the first one is this right here, which are the earrings. These are the mini frivol earrings 
in rose gold with the little rubies in the center of it. So I actually already sent these in for um, adjustments. And basically what I did was I made it so that the post, um, which is the part that goes through your ear, I made it so that is thinner. And I also um, had them switch out the backs of the earrings for these butterfly bags. The reason is because like the bags that they usually use on like their um, smaller earrings, I think it's called like la poussette or something <laughs> something like that um those bags are more secure um they basically have like a spring mechanism where you have to like push it to um get the backing onto the earrings but they are so hard to get on and off when i was even trying it in stores it was such a struggle and i could feel my fingers going numb and i just i couldn't deal with it it was like the type of thing where like i especially trying to take the earrings off. It was really, really hard because um, it just got stuck at that little um, notch in the earrings, which is supposed to happen. But you know, if it takes me more than 30 seconds to put on a pair of earrings or take them off, it's just too much work for me. So I got them to swap out those bags for these butterfly looking ones, which are like your very standard um, bags for earrings. And this is also very secure already, so I don't foresee that there'll be a problem whatsoever. And they're so easy to put on and take off now. Actually, let me just quickly show you guys what it looks like on. And yeah, I don't even need um, a mirror or anything to put on my earrings usually. And yeah, when I was trying these on in the store as they were originally designed, I couldn't even manage to put them on and take them off with a mirror directly in front of me so yeah i knew that something had to be changed about them and luckily van cleef and Pels was able to do that so yeah i really love the frivo collection i actually like the ones that don't have um the diamond pave all over the petals more because I really like how the gold on the petals of the flower just like really shine and it's so gorgeous but I love that this has the little rubies in the center because it just makes it a little bit different from um, all your like typical jewelry because there's a lot of jewelry that has flowers on them so I like that this is a little bit different so yeah I don't know if you're going to be able to see them very clearly definitely look at the um, close-up shots that I did but yeah I just really really love them and yeah I'm going to keep them on for the remainder of this video so to go along with these earrings is a matching piece from that same collection and I actually said that I wouldn't get any more of this type of jewelry anymore but I just I couldn't resist especially since you know they match and everything so I figured I would get it so it would be similar to um, the emerald set that I have and yeah I think I might have actually given it away already just because I mentioned that emerald set that I have. So in here is, let's see, oh okay so there's this little piece that kind of cushions it a little bit and this is the mini Fravo earring also in rose gold with the ruby in the center. And yeah, this is just so cute. It's so dainty, but I love how it looks. As you may know, I love my dainty jewelry. I just couldn't pass this up. It is just so cute. And let me just quickly put this on for you guys too. And this is how it looks like when it's worn on the longer setting. There is a shorter setting on this necklace too. So that was the first of the three Van Cleef and Arpels pieces. And the last one is in this box right here. This is also something that I already sent to get um, adjusted. So that's why it's not in like the wrapping paper anymore I just put it back in this box to share with you guys for this video and this was something that I actually purchased online instead of in the boutiques because this is so hard to come by I don't even think you can um, put down a deposit on this item because it's just like kind of like backlogged and I don't think they're kind of like making enough supply to satisfy the demand. So what happened was I spotted this online on their website. I think it was like right before Mother's Day. So maybe that played a role into it because maybe they, you know, like put more stock on the website 
in anticipation of people buying Mother's Day gifts. So anyways, I saw this and I was like, okay, I'm going to snatch this right up because who knows when I'll be able to get this from the boutiques. It's so stunning. I can't stop staring at it. So this is, um, this is the Guilleche 5 motif bracelet. It is so stunning. Look how sparkly it is. So they have these tester bracelets for you to try out the different um, lengths of the bracelet. So they had one for if you were to remove four lengths, six links as well as eight links well those were the ones that i was considering but they have like other options too so i tried on those three and i ended up going with the six links removed option because when i tried on the one with four links removed it was a little bit too loose the bracelet was basically kind of like hanging around um the bone here like the knuckle bone or whatever on my thumb so yeah if i just flung my hand i think that one came like right off and then the one with eight links removed it was like well i wouldn't say it was like too tight but it was like really close to my skin to my wrist so it depends what you like in a bracelet for me i wanted it to kind of dangle a little bit but not too much and the thing with removing eight links is that it was really, really hard to then put on by myself. Even with removing six links, it still is a little bit tricky to put on myself, not gonna lie. So I'm going to attempt to put it on for you guys right now. I might end up needing my husband's help on this. There are little tools that you can like purchase to help you put this on um, easier, or you can use like a paper clip or something like that. But I just wanted to, you know, show you guys the real struggle if you were just to like put this bracelet on yourself. So definitely keep that in mind if you're getting this. This is not very easy to put on and like come on this is taking forever one eternity later so here's what the bracelet looks like on you see how it just reflects light like crazy it is so stunning so this is kind of how it looks like when it's as far down my arm as possible and then let me just show you guys how kind of like far it goes up my arm so this is kind of where it goes um yeah and my wrist bone is like right about here so i think this is like the perfect um length for me i would have ideally wanted the amount of links to be even but yeah it's fine and oh yeah i should mention that my wrist size is approximately um like between 14 and 14 and a half centimeters or between like five and a half or 5.75 inches and as for other bracelets um the size that i have in the bulgari one that i just shared with you guys that one is a small and then for the cartier bracelets i have the love bracelet in a size 16 and then the juice and clue is a size 15. so yeah i hope that is kind of like little helpful information for you guys and i actually have another item that i just recently purchased from Van Cleef and our pals, but that I also needed to get some adjustments done to it. So I will share that when I receive it back from the boutique. But I just I didn't want to wait any longer because these items were accumulating and I really wanted to wear them out. So yeah, those were the Van Cleef and our pals pieces. And then for the last item, it is a piece of fine jewelry from Chanel. And this was not something that I anticipated getting, but what happened was a few weeks ago, I did this Fendace unboxing and funny story, I kept saying Fendace in that video. I have no idea why. Like I know that it's Fendace, but for some reason, I just kept saying Fendace in that video. Kind of embarrassing, honestly, but yeah. So I did that unboxing and what happened was that the hardware on that bag, even though the bag was gorgeous, to this day, I still wish it had worked out, but the hardware was chipping. I mean, luckily, I guess the hardware was chipping on the inside of the bag. So I guess if you really, really love the bag, you could have kept it because it wasn't chipping on the outside. It's not even noticeable. But yeah, the hardware was chipping on that. And I basically, I was between returning it or sending it in for repairs. And so what I did was 
I had initiated both processes at the same time. So I had requested a return authorization number because I purchased it online. And I also asked customer service to um, basically submit like a repair request and see if that's even something that can be repaired. So I did that. And then at the same time, I was refreshing the website like crazy, like so often to see if it came back in stock. And what happened was the white one actually came back in stock. So I purchased the white one. And when the white one came, the same spots were chipping. And to add to that, there was this giant scratch on the leather too. So I was like, okay, the white one, I am definitely not keeping. And at this point, I was kind of over it because, you know, two bags that had the same chipping issue. And not to mention, one of you guys had actually reached out to me saying that the one you got also had the same chipping issue. And that one was the gold perforated leather. So it's three different types of the same exact bag that had this chipping issue. So clearly it's not like a one-off thing. So I decided I was going to return the white one because I actually like the black one more. But I ended up deciding that I would just return the black one too because basically the clock was ticking down. I was nearing the end of the return window and even though customer service said that the repair people would basically get back to me in two business days, I waited like close to a week for their response and nothing. So I was like, okay, I really don't want to run into a situation where I can't return it and I can't repair it and I'm stuck with this defective bag. So I ended up returning that and what I did with the money that I got back from that purchase, that fail unboxing was this. This is actually something that also just recently went up in price. This was actually something that was on my wish list for this year. So it's not too much of an impulse purchase. I was planning on getting this already. And then I heard about the price increase and everything kind of just aligned. And I was like, okay, I'm going to add this to my collection because you know, like why wait to like pay a few hundred dollars extra for it? So I ended up getting this um, at the beginning of June. I think it was June 7th or something like that when the price went up. So I bought this on June 6th. It was like right at the last moment. And actually funny story, um, I paid for this remotely and my sales associate didn't process the sale until the price had actually gone up, but she was able to um, basically honor the lower price for me. So anyways, in here is actually something similar to another piece of fine jewelry that I already have from Chanel, but I just wanted it in a different color of metal. So this is something from the Coco Crush collection. So this is the Coco Crush ring. This is in white gold. So I already have the one in beige gold and I just wanted to get a second one to kind of like stack them. I think it looks really nice when you stack um, multiples of these rings together. And I was debating if I wanted to get the one that was, um, had the diamonds on it, or if I wanted to get the one that was strictly metal. And for this, I ended up going with the one that is strictly metal because I have this other ring from Tiffany's that I usually, stack on top of rings that are a little bit too loose. So I basically put that ring over it so it stays in place and it doesn't fly off my hand. And the thing with that ring is I don't find that it goes great stacked against some of like my other rings because the edges are like more sharp. It's sort of like how the love bracelet is where you kind of just have these like sharp lines to it. So I wanted something that was like a little bit more rounded. So that's why I decided to go for this one with the metal because I thought that the one with the diamonds would kind of maybe not necessarily go the greatest with a lot of my other rings where I need the sort of um, tighter ring to kind of keep it in place. So I decided to go with this one and yeah, I really, really love it. Of course, I know that I love this Coco Crush collection already. So this is what the ring looks like. So, so stunning. I love that little quilted design on it, but it's like, it's really subtle, but you kind of, you see it and you kind of get like a little bit of like light reflection from where those little, um, 
cuts are so yeah i really really love this ring so glad that i got it before the price increase i think i bought it for 1400 us dollars before tax and now i believe it's 1550 so this is probably i think the largest price increase that chanel has done on um, these rings I believe like prior to that it just went up like $50 at a time or at most like $100 at a time so now it's $150 more and yeah I feel like Van Cleef and Rapel surprisingly isn't really raising the prices on their items I mean you know still this is like designer brand and fine jewelry it's not the best value for money but I do have to appreciate that Van Cleef and Arpels is not really doing like these constant price increases anyways that's a little bit of a tangent but I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and enjoyed this what I got for my birthday type of haul if you like this video please do give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below what do you guys think of these new pieces of fine jewelry in my collection and also let me know if there's any items that i showed you guys today that you would like um, a dedicated review video on maybe if you want comparisons between different items i'll definitely do that for you guys and if you haven't already subscribed to my channel please do consider subscribing for new content on luxury and fashion every single week and i'll leave two videos on the screen for you guys to watch next so i'll see you very soon bye for now